So did Senator Manchin break his commitment to you? Senator Manchin and I are going to get something done. Thank you. Mm. President Biden trying to put his best foot forward on healing the rift with Senator Joe Manchin after the White House called him a liar. But radical Democrats don't want to hear it. Progressives are focused on pressuring Biden to go it alone on the spending plan. AOC tweeting this. Biden needs to lean on his executive authority now. He has been delaying and underutilizing it so far. Jesse, the same people who whinge and screech about the ruination of democracy <laughs> um, are telling him to trample on the Constitution. Yeah, let's make him king. We'll build him a throne, put a crown on his head. We'll just have a monarchy. Squad can go home. We don't need Congress. Power of the purse. Give it to Joe. Get, send the Supreme Court home, too, while we're at it, right? No checks and balances. We're just a monarchy now. That, like, who talks like that? It doesn't even pass the if the shoe were on the other foot test, which is a great test. And you know how much I hate tests. <laughs> this is like if... Did you if, pass that test? Yes, the only one. <laughs> it's if, if, if Trump were president and he didn't have a majority in the Senate, you think AOC would be like... Yeah, just let Trump enact the MAGA agenda. <laughs> right? No, of course she wouldn't. This just shows the mentality of the far left. Don't renegotiate this thing. You know, don't try to persuade anybody. Don't, don't go back to the drawing board. Just jam it through. Just jam it right through. Th these instincts are crazy. This is a crazy kind of instinct. Greg, uh, Bette Midler is the new spokes broad mm -hmm. for the squad, spokes. clearly, or she's auditioning for that job. Poor, illiterate, and strung out on drugs is how she described West Virginians and then kind of sort of apologized, which clearly somebody told well, her to do that. I mean, you got to be strung out to watch one of her movies. I mean, have you ever seen Beaches? No. Uh, don't go there. Uh, you don't like do Beaches? That. Yeah, don't do oh, that. Oh, it's a terrible Come film. Uh, you know, it's, it's really funny when you see kind of clearly washed up people on Twitter because they've had a great career, and all it takes is a few tweets mm -hmm. to kind of unravel a fan base because there are people in West Virginia that probably do like Bette Midler, three or four. The media response to all of this is interesting because they're like a down and out gambler, right? Who put everything on red at the Russian at the roulette table and then it went black. Uh, this, I mean, it, they were absolutely devastated. I've never seen so many people upset over something they didn't read, with the exception of the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> a little religious food for thought yeah. for today. And by the way. The birth of Christ. I put my hand in your shot, Greg. I apologize for You know, that. that's, we're going to have a talk about that afterwards. I was doing my wind beneath my wings. <laughs> I mean, it's a good that's, story. No, I don't necessarily like her as an individual, but it's a good story. <laughs> no, you know. no, she's dreadful. Uh, but <laughs> West Virginians, back mansion, listen to this, Dan. I want your reaction. Wait. I support Joe Manchin 120%. For him um, not backing down to... Biden because West Virginia is suffering for Biden's choices. Absolutely supportive. Nothing in that bill was going to help West Virginia. I think it was the right thing to do. And they're wearing masks in West Virginia, AOC. Yeah. Wow. Wow. And I think the condescension from the left about West Virginians is something that's been on display, but also they're really not very smart on politics. Joe Manchin knows his state, and he's not there to represent the left. He's there to represent his state, and his state was saying no. And so I think there's uh, obviously some rethinking that needs to be done, like a Bernie Sanders who says, well, I'm going to go into West Virginia and tell them how wrong they are. They, they will not listen to him. The last thing I would say on this, uh, do you know Give a, Mouse, Give a Mouse a Cookie, that, that book? This is like the policy version of it. If you give a mouse a cookie, he's going to want 10 more. If you, give them a, if you give liberals a mandate for something, they'll take 10 more. If you give them a tax hike, they'll come for all of your uh, income. And that's what they're trying to do with Build Back Better. It's like, no, no, we were going to take that, and then we're going to give even more. So that's you mean, like, what give them an inch. Right. Should you? What if you just teach the mouse to fish? Yeah, I think it's if you lead a horse to water. Then you teach the t horse to fish. Don't you know the book? If you give a mouse, <laughs> you a can cookie? lead a horse to water. <laughs> but I haven't you read can't that teach one. This is Waters. Please <laughs> text your son. Please do about not talk gift, directly to my mother. Don't look, a <laughs> gift, don't look at gift mouse. Yeah. <laughs> Don't look at Gift Mouse in, in the, the tail because it stinks. <laughs> you help Nicole. Like fish. Like fish. Get us, get us know what they I will say that uh, I also have three kids and I haven't read that book, but I mean, I get the analogy. I know where she's going with this, and she's right. You, they, they tend to do that. You give them one thing and they ask for more and more and more. That's what the Build Back Better was all about. Manchin was concerned about Social Security and Medicare and things that are already running out of funding. Funding, and he is looking out for the people that he represents, and that's the bottom line. Does Manchin like the movie Beaches, though? 
Yeah. I mean, he should. We need to know that. I'm going to look up how many <laughs> copies of If You Give a Mouse a Cookie have been sold. Why would you give a mouse a cookie when it, it's clearly they like cheese? <laughs> this seems very, like, they, a strange book. Were you in a cult cookies. growing up? A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Library cult. <laughs> yeah. Not know. a member. <laughs> Next. What the? Cursing is through the roof. Experts know exactly what's to blame. Okay, how many?